Hey, Kevin Wicks over here at Steve Bellinger's uh, place, and we're doing Strongman Sundays again. Uh, doing a really quick shout out to uh, Jed Johnson from the Diesel Crew. He's introducing his Demolition Club, which uh, is 89 pounds and doesn't have a knob. So, uh, in, in honor of him, we took off the knob of our 80 pound beast right here. And uh, we saw his swings and really appreciated him getting the word out. And uh, I was going to do some gamma casts today, anyways. And I've been working on it, so I'm not resting it on my shoulder and it's not scratching my back so that it's a clean, no-touch cast. Um, even, even trying my best not to touch the chest or, or, or sometimes it's kind of, kind of come up and rested on my chin a little bit. And I've really noticed that that really tightens up the shoulders. It creates a lot more flexibility. Um, in, in going back and working with some MMA guys um, and some big strong guys and doing uh, clubs and maces and any sort of movement that comes from uh, behind the head. Uh, names I probably shouldn't mention, but these guys have tried to put me in Kimuras, uh, top wrist locks, double wrist locks, and I've kind of laughed at it because of the strength that I've developed from mace swinging and club swinging. And um, so if you're an MMA fighter, this might be something that you might be really interested in just to tighten up your Kimuras and to be more resistant to it. So this is going to be a no back touch gamma cast or head cast and I'm going to do it without the knob. Um, the knob should be on usually for safety. There are times where my hand has slipped and that knob has really helped it. But in honor of Jed, we're going to go knobless today. Hello. So. Gamma cast. Well, Kevin, I'm showing that knobless. Oh. No knob. Don't be a slob. Lose the knob. No knob. <laughs> here, here is the knob. It's not that It's not there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, usually, you'll kind of roll it back and it'll scrape the back. This time, doing your best not to touch any part of your body. It's tough. The stabilization in the back, because you're really going to use a lot of lat. You're going to use your muscles in a squeezing motion, especially in the shoulder, that you just wouldn't do it in any other motion. And your grip is going to take a real taxing, because getting it back there, you're going to seize and then pull it back. Seize and pull it back. Seize and then pull it back. So you're going to have this dynamic flux of, 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 of always keeping your grip tight and then just seizing the hell out of it like you're strangling it at each time so it's going to be on again off again on again off again and your tendons are going to stretch and your muscles are going to get real thick and dense so uh, good job Jed for uh, swinging a big beast like this with no knob it takes a lot of strength and all you other guys who are interested in developing very Kimura resistant shoulders Give this a try. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. That's all.